Are we live? What's good, great people? I am Ezo Moon, and I have a special guest in the building today. Comedian, actor, writer, directed his own short films. Man, this guy is someone of a phenomenon, sincerely. Um, Clint Coley shall be joining me for a frank conversation. I want to give a big shout out to my sponsors, Red Crown. If you need some new drip, fit, any of that great stuff, Go to crownclub.com, K-R-O-W-N-K-L-U-B.com, and uh, yeah, purchase all your fittings from there. My man's is in here. Yo. What's going down? Yo. You, you. How's What's everything up? on your end? Oh, everything good, man. That's a blessing. That's a blessing, man. Where you, where you at? You got you. What, what, what's the, this, this background, man? Where you at? You in I'm the at, house? I'm in my, I'm in my house. Uh, I'm in my house. I'm I'm in my podcast room. Oh man, the that's that's where uh the genius comes from. All the amazing advice from a from a from a fuck boy comes from from right there. I don't know if it's amazing advice. <laughs> uh, I would say that it's it's where we record the podcast. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's amazing advice. <laughs> you you wouldn't. I, I mean, I've. You would you wouldn't consider it like you know at least some great advice you know like what what level of advice would you put it at like you know what I'm saying we just like eh it's, it's some... no here's the thing right <laughs> I don't give nobody a relationship advice right. here's why because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> so if I don't know what I'm doing how am I going to advise you on what you should be doing. That that's not my that's not my style. That makes so sense. I offer my un I offer my unsolicited opinion. If you want to take that, that's on you. If you don't, cool. But I'm not I do not give out relationship advice. That's real. That's real, man. Cause look, I, I you know, people I know myself, I was like, man, that, that I don't know if I would want to, you know, take advice from from, from a from a fuck boy. And then you have my, and then you know, end up losing the person that that I've always I, wanted. I think I think what we do is we read too much into the name. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? A lot of times, and you know, you, you know, it, it, you know, just you know, listen to it, appreciate it, like it for what it is, for what yeah. it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it don't have everything. Don't have to have a think piece. Like you know, it's like, oh man, like are you you a fuck boy? Like nah, just listen to the podcast. You'll find out whether I am or not. You know, <laughs> that's real. That's real, man. Um, I want to say thank you again so much for your time for for joining me here on the Frank Conversation. Um, I I want to open up with these with these questions that I have for you. Um, you know, I just start talking about your genesis, and you know, as far as my genesis in comedy. Yeah. Oh, um, you know, I know like a lot of guys they have a catalyst, you know, to their growth. Um, that they can trace back to a woman, and that you know, I was going back and like watching some of your prior interviews, and um, you know, I know you said that you get into comedy was because of a girl, um, who liked your friend, you know what I'm saying, but you like you liked her, and you eventually I, you eventually became the godfather to their to their to their love child eventually. Yeah, he's here right now. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's. Yeah, I mean, I'm, God, he's in the other room. Man, I hope I'm not cutting into you know what I'm saying. God damn you, 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 you are, but but it's cool. Continue. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm teasing. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. Come on. <laughs> I'm up here. But um, no, um, you know, I know. I wonder what is it about you know a person you know that you like you know that that uh, that hurts your spirit you know that motives that just motivates you to be better. Have you ever experienced that with with anybody else outside of that? You know, and um, well, you know, how I did, can't how even did, say how, that. I'll say this: I can't even say that that moment hurt my spirit. You know. Mm. Not a girl not liking me back never hurt my spirit, you know. Because if you don't like me, there's 5,000 other women who do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always kind of approached it. It was just that, like, I don't know why I had an itch to do stand up. I don't, I don't know, I don't know why I, I want, like, I mean, he would like that situation was the catalyst, but like, I, I, I don't know, maybe I, I felt like that was something that was always crossing my mind or anything like that in the first place. Um, but I think that guys, period, we use women as motivation. Like, oh, I'm going to show her. 
And it's like, in most cases, yo, for real, for the girl, be happy for you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's like, like there was one girl in my past. I'm not going to really tell the story again because I'm tired of telling the story. I'm going to be honest with you. But long story short, like, you know what I mean? Like, when I was living in, when I was, when I was uh, early in my career, she told my best friend she didn't think I was that funny. And, like, my, for a long time, I was like, oh, I want to show her. And it's like, what am I really showing her? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, women is, women sometimes are the catalyst to, to men, to what men do. But I think that, you know, we got to start letting that chip go. You know, it's not, it's not that deep. Like, because you're not showing her. What do you, you're not showing her shit. You're not, you're not, you're just not. You're right. No, you're right. Um, I wonder, you know, you, uh, you mentioned also that, you know, there are people that have told you, like, because I, I just piggybacking off of that. You know what I'm saying? Who's in your corner that's currently telling you that you suck? You know what I'm saying? Because you would say that, look, it, having somebody tell you that you suck is some of the best, you know, like some, something that, that is a good motivator for you to actually continue to get better. Is there still there's a, there's a different? There's a difference now. Now it's that sucks. See, I don't suck mm. now. You can't tell me I suck. Right. But you can say that idea sucks. Mm. Like when I was, when I, when, when you first start, that's when you should tell somebody they suck. Because they got two, they got two choices. Either you practice and get better. Because at the time, like when I was getting told I suck, I sucked. I don't suck now. Now it's that 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 idea sucks. So yes, I have a manager, black woman, you know, in my corner, and um, she tells me if some sucks. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. I I would. I mean, everyone needs. You know, I feel like everyone needs a strong black woman in their corner to help. I'm not saying all that. Just, <laughs> they ain't got to pander to black women. You no, know? sometimes it, it, you just need somebody. Like it, you know, it don't. Mm. I mean, I'm pro black woman, but right. you know, if you got a black man in your corner that telling you that sucks, that's cool too. Mm. But yeah, my manager's black. My lawyer's black. That's women. Real. That's real. My agent. Oh. Like that. <laughs> That's but that's no. just because we don't have a lot of black agents. If we was a bunch of black agents, I, I'd, I'd have a black agent. Why do you think I, there's not a lot of black agents, though? Because everybody want to be in front of the screen. And de and dealing with talent is a pain in the ass. Like, I'm, I mean, you catching me right now, bro, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a real... Like, I'm, I mean, a lot of us are hard to work with. Right. We are. Like, we like to act like we're... we're where where they're all like, oh man, he's so humble. Like, no nah, man, anybody who's good is hard to work with, my nigga. Hey, look, thank you for that. Like, the motherfuckers who ain't good is the easy ones to work with. Huh? I know that's weird. I'm not saying that I'm difficult in the sense of like I don't listen or nothing like that. But it's like, yo, like I like usually a lot of times if I'm hard to work with, that's because I got the creative direction to do it. And I like this is what I feel. This is what I think. This is what I see. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a reason why you feel otherwise. Now, I'm always down to make sure that, I mean, make sure that we put out the best product. But, like, yo, I'm not just going to let go of my idea that fast. Like, you should. Yeah. No, facts. I mean, if, especially if you feel strongly about it. Yeah, I'm, I'll push back. Yeah, I'm going to push back. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm I'm ignorant, but I'm just, I'm definitely going to push back. No, that's real. That's real. I And I, I appreciate that, Uh, you know, sincerely, because, like, even, in, even earlier, like, I'm still at the stage of where, like, I, hey, yo, I'm just glad that you're here. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, I feel like I get acknowledged by someone like you. It means it means a lot to me, right? But uh, um, you know, it's wait, it's, wait, a, wait, it's wait. a real thing. Say that one more time. I'm not saying say that, but why 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 is that? I feel like because you know, I, as much as I've done, you know, what I'm saying I'm still in the early stage. I mean, I've been doing these interviews for like a year and some change, but it's still like it's early. There's people that like have progressed like further like you know what i'm saying like that that are so much further ahead but me focusing on this is like all right well we at the baby the the, the dream is a baby right now right bro let so, me tell you, you know, something let me up? tell you something i had a I, had a I used to have a show that i used to run every month at the improv right every month this is like eight years ago right but it's i'm here in la and i'm doing i'm running a monthly show at a, at a club in hollywood right and as much as it was small time to whoever or whatever, because I wasn't charged, people was getting in for free. It was just a free show. It was just like, yo, I just wanted to perform. I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. But to me, that was that was prime time. And I didn't give a fuck who was on my show. You know what I'm saying? 
I didn't give a fuck who was on my show. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that, like, at the end of the day, like, you you don't sit, don't, I don't validate this show. You know I mean, I came on the show because you asked me to. You know what right. I'm saying? I it was really no other reason. It was really just you you, you literally asked me to. I didn't I didn't I and, and you a black man and I want I, I want to do my part. But at the end of the day, my man, like I don't validate your show or nobody else, no other celebrity or anybody validates your show. You this your shit. This this the shit. This the shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck all the other shit. This this the shit. I'm happy to be a part of your show. Fuck that. I, I don't I don't make or break this. This your shit. You the man. You tell you 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 like you see this this the thing like we we scared because we want to act we don't want to be arrogant you know what I'm saying it's like nah man you you know dog if you the man you the fucking man if you don't believe you the man why the fuck should I yeah <laughs> all right that's all bro I, I'm sorry for preaching to you no nah, you nah I, I need now, that. do do <laughs> do your show yeah no nah, fell I need no I need that like I need that you know because I've I've been like I said I've been doing this because I, I want to just help the world in my own way, right? So the fact that, you know, if if it reaches the in front the the people it's, you you it's reach it reaches what you want it to reach. Mm -hmm. Bro man, I, I really believe the world is yours. You can do whatever the fuck you want, man. I really believe that shit, man. I really believe it. I, I really I yo like I, I really like like if you don't if nobody else take nothing from this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm high, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's really like good. I yo, you can't tell me a damn like you, you like you like yo, bro. I, I if I believe something, I, if I if I say something's gonna happen, it happens. Mm -hmm. So you saying like I wanna, I wanna, nah, man. Like you, you, you doing it? You doing it? Yeah. You doing it? You right? You right? Man, talk to me about how this mindset has progressed you forward, though. You know the um, you know the the. If you were comedian, you know, you said it on Sister Circle. If you were a comedian, singer, whatever, you don't think you're the best, then why are you doing it? Like, I want to, I want to know, like, you know, how how has that taken you to the next level? I mean, that, that's I think that's self-explanatory. Like, wh whoever got to the next level, thinking they was thinking they was second. You know, it's interesting, man. Like a year ago, around this time, we used to, we were sitting in the house watching Jordan documentary every Sunday. And you niggas didn't take nothing from that? Because what I looked like was he walked in the league and said, I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like, yo, we want to talk about having a Jordan mentality or a Mamba mentality or Ali mentality, but you really don't know what that's like. It's really believing like you that motherfucker, yo. You really, like, you got to believe you that, you that, like, yo, like, Listen, man, like, yo, Ali told Sonny, listen, he was going to knock him out in eight, did it in seven, and he was the seven to one underdog. Nobody thought he was going to win. You, you, like, that, 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 like, we, 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 we like, you got to, you, you don't, you don't, I don't, no, I don't know nobody that, that gets further anywhere thinking they just, they, they, they happy to be here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You can't get, you can't, you can't make those, you can't make that progress if you're just like, oh, I'm just, you know, oh, here I am. This it's happening. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Press forward. Press forward with the mindset that I'm the best in it. Got it. Man, what about, um, you know, in the, in, I know, I know it's not really advice from a fuckboy, right? But I wonder, you know, from, from your, from your perspective and the things that you've done. Do you feel like it's better to be a fuck boy or the nice guy? Or is it like a healthy medium? There's ne there's never a good day to be the fuck boy. Mm. You should never be the fuck boy. Like, there's no you, you don't have to be one. You don't have to be an extreme. Like, mm. it you don't ever have to be that. You know, it, it's it's always good to be yourself. Mm. Be what be what be what you want to be. My guys try to treat women. The problem a lot of times is guys treat women the way they think women supposed to be treated. Like the way they think other guys treat women. Like other guys, guys let other guys dictate how they treat women. Like guys really be on some like, yeah, man, like I don't, I don't feed these hoes. What? Why? Cause, cause, cause Darnell don't feed hoes. Nigga, you feed hoes. What's wrong with that? 
Like, you know what I mean? So then the next thing you know, motherfuckers stop feeding hoes. And now hoes ain't getting fed. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> the hoes ain't getting fed. That ain't it. That ain't it. I mean, look, 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 what what puts you in a in a in a in a mindset of like, yo, like, you know, we we shouldn't be paying attention to how other people, you know what I'm saying, treat treat women. You know, like we should we should go we should uh, go directly to the woman, you know, when there's so many different, like, there's so many different, uh, different examples of people that are like, yo, you know, this is what you should be doing because this is what makes her happy. And like, they post it on social media and like, you know what I'm saying? I know social media isn't reality, you know, it's, it, but it's as if like, all right, this is, you know, like, this is, this is like pseudo facts, I guess, you know, but what makes you what makes you come at uh approach that situation with that with that mindset like nah like we we gotta i gotta do what it i gotta do whatever it is for this particular woman i mean i, I just thought that, i just think that's how people are like that, that's it like you're a grown-ass man mm. like I, you're a grown-ass man grown-ass woman like you 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 why aren't you treating somebody like I'm confused. Like that. Like, what, what, what's the other option? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, what's the other option? The other option is to, be, is, is to, is to treat them like you normally treat everybody else. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't think there's a mindset that goes into that to treat somebody special. Like, I don't think there's that. That's not a mindset. It shouldn't be. If that's a mindset, like, oh, oh I'm, I'm gonna treat her special. I, that's sad. That's a shame if we're if we're there at, in society that you have to have a mindset to treat somebody special. Do you feel do you feel like you should treat some the one that you care about better than better or like as equal or equal to like how you treat yourself, or is it you know like how like how how should that go about? I don't really know how to answer that. You should always treat yourself. You you put you should always put yourself first. But when I say when we say put yourself first, we don't mean that being like a dick about it and being selfish, meaning like your needs, make sure your needs is met before you try to try to meet somebody else's needs. That's right. Now I want to pivot the, the conversation to some to something. Um, you know, you've written, starred in, and directed your own short films. Uh, and I wanna like ask, you know, you know, how'd you how'd you get these skills um to to be able to do this? To do what? To do to produce a short film? Yeah, to no completely. skill, man. There's no skills. I mean, not to say there's no skill, but I've never. I, listen, I got into this business to be a comedian, mm -hmm. and then you pivot into other situations because you you get tired and you 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 just want to learn. Like you know why 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 don't you want knowledge? Why 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 you gotta adapt with the times? You know what I'm saying? Like we're in, we're in the era where. You know, it, it, just being the star or being in something is not enough. You, you need to be able to create something. What do you bring to the table? So, I mean, I just, I, so I, one day, you know, I had a friend of mine who was working on writing content and, and I had an idea about something and started from there. What do you think is next for you as far as like the type of knowledge that you want to take in? I don't, that's a hard question. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's not a, I mean, you can't ask, you can't, I mean, like for me, like, you don't know what knowledge you're going to take in every day. You know what I'm saying? Like one day something might, might pique your interest and the next thing you know, you're, you're, you're involved in it knee deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I wanted to, you know, do this, 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 and this, but here we are. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just started, you know, learning how to DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't something that I was thirsty for that knowledge back in 2007. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it came with the right time, right space, got enough money to do it. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you put it. Circumstances. Too. That's right. Now, when I, you know, going back to the to the comedy uh, realm, you know, as a comedian, what do you feel like the lines should be drawn for comedy? You know, you um, or should they even be one at all? And like, do you feel like there's a, a a topic that is taboo. I mean, I think that I think this 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 conversation is 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 like this conversation about what you should or shouldn't be or should is is getting old. Like, 
I say what I want. The thing is, is that, but I, I don't, but I, I don't feel censored because I don't disrespect other people. Like I'm not getting on live calling homeless people who choose homosexuality the F word. You don't have to do that. I'm not getting on live. I'm not going doing shows. You know, calling. I'm not. I'm, you don't have to be disrespectful. You can say whatever you want without being crude or crass. Or you know what I'm saying? Like you don't. You know what I mean? Like. I don't feel I, I don't I'm not disrespectful towards women. No. Do I agree with women? Hell no. Do I agree with what they be doing sometimes? <laughs> Fuck no. But do I gotta get on live calling women or get on my get on my platform and call women bitches? Because no, I don't do that. You feel like that that's uh that's one of the things that separate that separates you from other comedians? I don't think it them? separates me from other comedians because there's so many other comedians that's doing it. Mm -hmm. Like they, we're not like don't forget you're not going to a comedy every day you're not going to a comedy. If you if there's a comedian, here's the thing. If there's somebody you don't want to see, you just don't go see him. Right. If you don't like their content, if you don't like what they're saying, you just don't listen. They're allowed to say whatever they want. If they want to have a podcast and just say the F word for 30 minutes, you chose to listen to that for 30 minutes. If you're offended by that, that's cool. But that's what he wanted to do. Or she. Sure. You want to say that uh, as a comedian, this is the only sport where you have to get better at on the job. I wanted to know for, for you, like, where did that analysis come from? What experiences brought you to that to that conclusion? I think that's also self-explanatory. How do you get better at being a lot, doing live comedy and not be in front of a live audience? You can't practice. That's not that's not something you practice in the mirror. You can't practice for a laugh. You have to actually. You can say to yourself that's funny, but. But you can't. You gotta be. You gotta be out there. You can't. You gotta actually go through the same thing. Is, same thing with a barber. Mm -hmm. You can cut as many mannequin heads as possible, but how, you can't get. You gotta get better by cutting people's hair. You're going to mess up somebody's hair. <laughs> Man, look. Have you ever had? Have you ever had like a, just a terrible haircut? No, I'm from Philly, bro. We don't have bad barbers. There's no bad barbers in Philly. Have you found a good one in LA? I mean, yes, I have. How much? Is, how much? The, how much the cuts costing it for? You know, hitting for in LA? Oh, my, my cut sixty dollars. Yay! My cut sixty. Yeah, that's man, whoa. <laughs> hey, look, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm from Texas. We, we, I, I just can't pay over twenty five. I don't know what it is. I and mean, that's cool. I mean, I pay, I pay sixty, dog. And when you, <laughs> when I take a picture, women be like, "Oh, you got a haircut." You, you definitely know. Yeah. You definitely you get, know. You get that you get that little like the little chalk outline thing? No. I don't need that cuz I'm th I got my hairline. Now I ain't had a cut in about a week or two weeks. It's about two two weeks. Oh. Well, you still solid though. Shoot. Bro, I'm, I'm and I yeah, bro, I'm definitely solid. I got my hairline. I got to brush my hair, but yeah, yeah. I got a hairline. Man, dog, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. No, you yeah, you definitely all solid, bro, cuz uh me I don't get a haircut, bro. It's it's a it's a whole terrible it's a whole terrible thing. Like, yeah, I, yeah, nah, yeah. I I'll pay, yeah, but it's sixty. I mean, she you gotta remember, man. Out here too, like mm. the cost of living is higher, bro. Mm. And also, there's people out here who cut for twenty dollars. Oh shoot. Yeah, it ain't just like my barber is sixty. You right. go to the, yeah, this twenty month, this twenty dollar cut, niggas. But you gon' you gonna get a twenty dollar cut. 20 cut. <laughs> no, I feel like no, I feel that. I feel that. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel like, hey, I, and just just as far as like living, as far as living out there, do you feel like it's still like strategic, like it's necessary to be on the coast to get all like you know to make those connections and be in those you know be in those circles? Yeah. You got to be out here. Yeah. Even though everything is, you got to be out here. <laughs> the first thing they ask you is if you like, look, bro. Like, I put it like this: there's no agents in Atlanta. None of the big agencies are in Atlanta. They're in New York or LA. That tells you everything you need to know. So. You gotta make that move. I got you. Now I wanna get into the um, the goal of the show um, and that is, you know, philanthropy. You know, garnering support from the audience and putting it towards a charity or nonprofit that you care about. Uh, what charity or nonprofit would you like to spotlight today and why is the cause that it faces so important to you? 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even got no charity. I don't know. I don't, cause I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm not to say, like, I don't want to sound ignorant, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a done charity. Like, I, I don't, like, I'm not gonna say and be like, oh man, I want to give it to the Boys and Girls Club. Like, nah, I, 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 you can choose one for me. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with it, but I'm not like, I, I, yeah, I don't have a charity that I, that I partner with. Not, I, that's not something that I've done yet, but I will soon, I'm sure. But not for the sake of this, I ain't gonna be like, oh, I, yo, donate to the, to this, you know. No, most definitely. I, look, I got one. Um, I definitely would like to uh, dedicate this to women called Moses. You know, put it. Uh, if anybody would like to put their effort towards that. I'll definitely be uh, tagging them at the bottom of this video. But I really appreciate the I appreciate the honesty because you'd be surprised, man. People will come up off the top of their head like, uh, let's go here. So Nah, nah, I ain't doing that, man. I, ain't, I don't have no I don't have a charity, dog. I ain't, ain't no fake in the funk. Amen. Amen to that one. Amen to that one. Hey, before we close out, you know, we always like to close with wisdom for the next generation. So wait a minute. Somebody said you look like Theo Huxtable. Who? Yes, he keeps that's that's Twan. He's also a comedian and he keeps he keeps stinging me in his comments trying to Oh, you talking me. about he said you look like Theo Huxtable. Yeah. He dressed like I'm I used to say I was dressed like car salesman of the month. Man, Twan, you lucky I I don't know how to I don't know how to roast nobody, man. Like and so I'm trying to figure it out, which is why I'm trying to learn as I go through. You don't have uh, sometimes you don't have to roast. You just some just be like all you gotta he, listen, you you he in the comments, you talking. All you gotta do is just be like, yo, that shit corny. Bet. Like, what are you gonna say? No, it's not. Like, <laughs> if you don't know how to roast, <laughs> just be like, yo, that shit was that, that, that joke was dry. <laughs> That's the worst thing you can tell a comedian. I, I, you could do better. Like, I would be like trying to get better than this. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's a great attempt, but you're be, you're better than that. You're better than that. You you call yourself a comedian. And just that's the best you got is Theo Huxtable. You're, like, you're better than that, my guy. <laughs> that's how you gotta hit him. You gotta hit him with sarcasm. You're better than that, man. You can do better than that. You there's a there, you know there's a lot of thousands of other jokes you could have used in the English language, and you chose those. You, you're better than that. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, look. <laughs> You know, I was going to ask for more knowledge to, like, give to the rest of the world, but I appreciate that for me, like, personally. Thank you. Sometimes you got to just outsmart a motherfucker. Bet. Bet. He's a comedian. He's sensitive about his shit. <laughs> is that is that true for, like, every comedian? Like, yes. All yes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, so how sensitive are you about your craft? Like, do you go through the comments and be like, yo, like, man, fam, I'm about to, you know, because I know there's some people that create fake pages just so that they can get back at I'm like, not. Nigga, I don't, I don't do that. Mm. But yeah, I'm very like, you know, like, you know, motherfuckers was, you know, I, you know, it was right in the world. Yeah, they was, they was saying nasty shit about the World Series of Spades and the little comments in the section. Yeah, I, I was, I, I was reading it. But that don't mean that I, I'm gonna let that be the. It's just I read it, I see it. I actually like that. Like the idea is amazing. Like I've like I love playing space, so I'm. I'm I, that's kind of what made me a fan of that. But, <laughs> um, damn. Man, I you know it, it's for I. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's I guess that's that's the thing. Like you to to see stuff like that. I feel like it impacts. It can impact like the whole mood. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially like, especially if you're sensitive about what it is, the work that you put out there. I feel like you're like gonna pack your whole mood for the day. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that, like that, that'll it'll throw it off. But you know, I mean, how do you build? How do you build t a tougher skin? You know what I'm saying? When that when you're faced with that, I mean, I feel like as, as, for you as a comedian, especially like, I felt like y'all would have like the hardest skin, the thickest skin ever, because you know what I'm saying. You, we you got tough skin movies. when it comes to forgetting what happened the day before. So, like, if I have a bad show, I'm not wearing that tomorrow. It happened. No, that's real. That's really it. It's the tough skin is like you shake it off. The tough skin is like, yo, that's just one sack. Tough skin is like, you know what I mean? Like, look, man, like Tom Brady been sacked. I'm sure a lot of times in his career. 
His career is not defined by how many times that man sat, been sacked or thrown an interception. That's true. That's true. Man, I appreciate that. Um, I wonder, what do you feel like your career is going to be defined by? Like, what do you want? What do you want for people to say about you? You know, um, I don't care. I don't care. Like, my thing is, there's proof that I was here. Like, I like at the end of the day, like, there's proof I was here. The rest is is really I don't want. I, if I if I, you know, if I um, the fuck somebody wrote a a, a dissertation. His name is. Oh, somebody! She sent me a fucking video of somebody getting shot earlier. That was some traumatizing shit too. I ain't like that. I do, I just I delete that out. Yeah, it was like a literally a video of somebody. She sent me a video of somebody getting shot. For what? I don't know, man. I see. Yeah, you just she just fucked up the whole vibe, dog. Sorry, G. Um, man. Um. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. I, like, I kind of lost. It. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you deal with that pussy. <laughs> pussy. Because I, li I like it, bro. It makes me happy. <laughs> it does. It definitely does. And I. Hey, eat, I and I like. I'd like a piece of it. Not of hers, but of but maybe it. some in general. So ladies, now we can segue to whatever else you want to discuss. Yeah, man. Um, great, great, great segue, by the way. So we like to close, you know, we always like to close this with words of wisdom for the next generation. Um, you know, so I was wondering what words of wisdom would you have for any of these, those that are trying to uh, put together a cast for their own independent films? Because when I was, um, uh, when I was watching yours, I, I was, I was like, man, how do you get, how do you do that? Like, how do you get folks together and, and say, hey, look, man, you know, this you're going to play this role, 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 and uh, we're going to make this, we're going to make this film together, right? So I was wondering, you know, what words of wisdom would you have for any of those that are the young ones that have come back and watch this and, you know, they'll try to put together a cast for their own independent films? The worst somebody could say is no. Like, get it done. Somebody's gonna tell you no. That's the worst you can say. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear a lot. Just the worst somebody can say is no. Find another way. That's it. Well, I wanna say thank you again so much for your time, for your energy. Job, for your and uh thanks for putting a foot in my ass earlier. I really appreciate that. No doubt, bro. Yeah, you have a blessing. You too, man. You. All right. All right. Yo, that was Clint Coley. Please make sure you guys are on the lookout for anything and everything that man is doing. He is hilarious. I gotta say thank you for that for that knowledge because you know I am the best interviewer in the world. What do you mean? Yo, I'm gonna be the best. Not even I'm I am the best interviewer in the world. Everybody gonna want to come on this show. Yeah, all that. And you enjoy this. Dallas on the Moon, 60% goes to a charity or nonprofit named on the show. So this show, I definitely put Woman Called Moses. 40% goes to uh, Power on the Show and actually me being able to do these in person. And yeah, uh, big shout out to everybody that was in here. Uh, shout out to Twan. That's my guy. Uh, <laughs> he be talking shit, but I love him. Um, and yeah, definitely... If no one told you that they love you, if no one told you that they cared about you, I love you. I care about you. I'm Iza Moon. I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people. Peace. Purchase my book, Purple Mike Wants a Bike, at Amazon.com. You can find it there. Just type in Purple Mike, type in Ease of Moon, and it'll pop up. If you guys want to follow me, no, not even if, go follow me at Ease Moon underscore on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Ease Moon, and I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people.